Thousands of amateur and professional aviators pursued their dreams of navigating machines through the sky, but most people experienced flying as passengers, not pilots. Microsoft Flight Simulator changed all that by giving millions of people a highly realistic simulation of piloting a real plane, all without leaving the comfort and safety of their computers. Bruce Artwick, its creator, developed a flight simulation program on the PDP-11 mini-computer for his master's thesis. After founding Sublogic Corporation with Stu Moment, he created A2 FS1 Flight Simulator for the Apple II in 1979, becoming the best-selling flight simulator for its time. It is thus not coincidental that Microsoft decided to license a version of Artwick's creation. Artwick took advantage of increased processing power to add many new features to Microsoft Flight Simulator when it was released on November 11, 1982. The use of color made flying highly realistic enabling the players to make choices while flying that echoed the way a real-life pilot made judgments. Its inclusion of an editor allowed the players to vary the scenarios by adjusting the weather and flight path. Since it operated in real time, a player who decided to fly from Chicago to Seattle needed to plan accordingly. Microsoft knew it had a hit on its hands, and in collaboration with Artwick and others, released a regular series of updates over the decades that followed. In 2020, Microsoft released a spectacular updated version of the game that used real-life images to give flyers the experience of soaring over their hometowns or visiting exotic locale, proving once again that the joy of flight is universal.